Este es el ron de ncomputers.com otro video para ti hoy. Quick video. Receive compensation for an answer to a question on a third party website that will forever remain unnamed. The question was it deals with software periodically, once in a while. There are questions on this website and people ask about specific details, you know, compatibility when they try to upgrade or in this scenario well we'll just read the question that should be enough that should be self-explanatory i just bought a new computer in the old computer at print shop 2.0 deluxe for windows 7 vista and windows xp my new computer has windows 10 on my laptop and my desktop what version do i need for the new windows will my old files work with the new version of windows here's the quick short answer no print shop 2.0 Deluxe is not necessarily compatible with Windows 10 because it's it's old school. You can't go backwards compatibility, right? How, how could you design a piece of software for an operating system that hasn't yet been programmed, developed? Print Shop 4.0 Deluxe is compatible with Windows 10, and I went to the maker of the software's official website and verified it. Also, you can import data from Print Shop Deluxe 2.0 into Print Shop Deluxe 4.0. That's the short answer. The longer answer is if you do not want to upgrade, you want to save money, or for whatever reason you want to continue to use Print Shop 2.0 Deluxe, and then you would you would have to reinstall it. And as far as licensing, I don't know as far as licensing issues some of these software developers are control freaks they're communist socialist control freaks but you're dealing with billion dollar fascist corporations you're dealing with companies in america even small businesses in america are borderline criminal you know what i'm saying it just depends on not all not all business owners are corrupt criminal crooks but you know i'm just saying I don't want to get into the licensing because it it some of our are stingy. You have to re, you have to deactivate the software on the old computer first, and then uninstall it, then reinstall it, and reactivate the license. And sometimes you run into problems. So I'm not going to talk about that. If you're offended because I didn't talk about licensing issues with the software for half an hour, I don't give a fuck. Get off my fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. You could. Tried to install Print Shop Deluxe 2.0 on Windows 10 in compatibility mode. I'm not going to go over, I'm not going to demonstrate because I don't have the software. It's all written in my blog post. Browse to anetcomputers.com. I link directly to the blog post at anetcomputers.com in this video description. It has full abstract details on what you need to do in order to install a software in compatibility mode. You know what I'm saying? You would just right click, properties, compatibility, tab, bam, check box next to run this compatibility for, then a drop down window opens, and then bam, select which operating system you're trying to run. Bam. That is the longer answer. But Print Shop 4 Deluxe is compatible with Windows 10 and it is backwards compatible with data from Print Shop Deluxe 2.0. I am not going to link directly to the creator of this website because I tried to sign up for their affiliate program. I'm not going to go into details. I'm not going to tell you what network. I don't give out free information anymore. I ran across a, an affiliate marketer. I think he's pretty legit. He's He upsells a lot, but he's a marketer. That's what those marketing individual I'm a, an affiliate marketer but the ones that do this full time and are very successful they're they're always trying to sell you crap and but he gives out a lot of well a lot of well you could say wealthy information a lot of productive information and one piece of information that I agree with him is do not leak data you should always write blog posts and monetize otherwise you're wasting time why why the fuck would you create a blog in your niche and if you're not going to get compensated and unless you can afford it unless you're a millionaire and you can just fucking blog all day for the fuck of it I tried to 
sign up for their affiliate program within a second. As soon as I clicked on apply, it then redirected to a page saying I was declined. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if I, I don't, I shouldn't have to go through all the hoops. I shouldn't have to contact the affiliate program manager directly. My philosophy is if you waste my time, then, and I can't sign up that, or there's something, nah. It's not a bug with this affiliate network. Maybe, maybe, I just don't know. I'm not an advertiser. Maybe they can select options and then they can, it's automated and then it can tell that your account is, you're not making a million dollars. Maybe, maybe, I don't know what the deal is. So I am not going to provide a backlink. Hey, tough shit, tough shit. If I would have been approved or if it would have went into the queue and said, oh, a human has to take some some of these affiliate programs when you apply to them then it, it does tell you oh manual it'll be called manual approval so and then you have to wait and then a real human looks into your application and then says yes or no whereas this was automated well that's just the breaks man no backlink f for you no, 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 no. No, I'm not going to give this company a free backlink. No, no, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of writing blog posts and making YouTube videos and helping people out and answering their questions and providing. Now, I did get compensated at this third-party website. So I did make money providing this information that was valuable. I went out and did the research. They rated me. I don't give a shit about ratings, but if you get a positive, you know, quote unquote positive rating, you get compensated. However, I try to take advantage as much as possible because I took the time to research this. I gave them an answer. They rated me. They gave me a positive rating. They actually even said they were now going to go out and buy the software. So with my help, this company just received a sale, but... They declined my application, and so I'm not going to give them a free backlink. I could, but and then I can still monetize this blog post and make money. I'm not going to make a million dollars, but I'll still make money providing information. That's how I roll, man. That's how I roll. That's how you got to keep, you got to pay for the lights. You got to pay for the internet access. You have to, if you're renting an office, you got to pay for rent. That's the breaks, man. Adios.